You do realize you're wearing two different shoes. By the way, um, have you seen Chuck Bass? I heard he's dating Raina Thorpe, and I'd love an introduction. No, I haven't seen either of them. Well, I'm smart enough to see that your race to greatness has uh, come down to a competition with Raina. That's ridiculous. She's from the Midwest. You're the one wearing two different shoes. Because of Dorota. My problem isn't emotional. It's administrative. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have delegation disasters to fix. Penelope sent me for the bowl. And Jessica said to tell you you got an F on your essay. I guess she showed up at Professor Trudeau's class. And Trudeau teaches history, not art history. Yeah, she figured that out after. Oh, I really loved your blog, though. The blog? What? I completely forgot. Well, all that stuff about servants being like belts and purses and overpriced and interchangeable. It was really funny. <laughs> or mean. Wait, was there something about admitting you need help from friends? Friends are the fashion fundamentals. See, you did write it. <sighs> well, of course. Who else could turn minions into a metaphor? Your friends' as fashion metaphor was well executed, but did not save my job. You got fired? Slash quit. Donna said they've been watching me for a while, hoping for the best, but let's face it, I'm imploding. At least you got your name in the blog. I'm sorry, Blair. I thought that if I could be the Blair Waldorf that I want to be a little sooner, that maybe I could return to Chuck before he fell for someone else. Well, you do know Raina broke up with him. Yes, in my head. But in my heart, I feel further away than ever. Tonight, he's thinking about a different girl. And meanwhile, I lost my job. I failed a test. I almost got my best friend's mother arrested. And I'm in Brooklyn talking about it to Dan Humphrey. Uh, well, I'm about to order some pizza if you want to stay. I think someone freaky Friday me. This can't possibly be my life. Oh, it is. What do you want? Gourmet, I suppose.